I haven't been very diligent about playing poop games lately. For the most part, it is because I've been busy with two jobs, several books, social obligations, the usual. I assure you, it has nothing at all to do with that no good wall crawling menace to society spider man. Hello, I'm Tom. I genuinely dislike ice climbers, and since Nintendo Switch online service was just released, that means we get to play some NES games on it. And since I love the NES, I wanted to drop a list of 10 games, no real order, that I hope Nintendo can pop onto Switch. Do note that this list does not regard practicality, so before you put in the comments that it would never happen, I know. It's okay. I know. I think it's safe to say that retro grind happy JRPGs have found a real home on portable consoles. It was, and it still remains, my favorite use of the PSP and Vita. It's great to be able to pop a squat, aimlessly grind out a few levels while doing your dirty business. Why Dragon Quest and not Final Fantasy? I think there are better ways of playing Final Fantasy 1 than the NES original. And yes, Dragon Quest got re-released on the phone, but I still have a soft spot for the NES versions. A truly fun and charming action game, Jackie Chan Action Kung Fu is one of the NES carts of mine that never gets dusty because I'm always popping it in for a quick run when I got nothing more Spider-Man to do. It's fast, it's fun, it's not overly challenging. Switch owners need to play this. I... I don't really think I need to justify this. Nintendo, give us Kirby, you cowards! Switch lets us play two-player NES games online, and Bubble Bobble is an outstanding way to kill some time and chat with your friends about how Spider-Man's story is one of the best in superhero video games and highlights how much we need to stop rebooting the franchise and give us matured characters who grew up in this world. It's truly brilliant. And I, you know, Bubble Bobble is great. I love it. Play it. Not just because Blaster Master Zero is already on the Switch eShop, the original still deserves to be played. The Labyrinth design makes it an ideal candidate for using save states to get through. If you like Metroidvania style games, but like me, think the original NES Metroid is a bit too obtuse, give Blaster Master a shot. Back on the multiplayer bit, Smash TV was a knockout shooter, and while the genre of wave-based shooters have evolved plenty since then, Smash TV is still a great way to kill some time with friends. It's not complicated, and anyone can pick up and play. I feel like modern gaming has a sharp divide between people who play sports games and people who don't. And that's a shame, really. Because the NES age of sports games created gems like Blades of Steel. You didn't play sports games because you were a sports nut. You played them because they were fun video games. So Nintendo, give us Blades of Steel. Give us Baseball Stars. Give us Greg Norman's golf power. It, maybe. You know... Low priority. Play with your friends, hide traps, 
collect your secrets and get out. It's strategic, it's a good laugh, and it needs to be on my Switch. The way the screen is split down the middle even makes it kinda an ideal candidate for playing together on a single Switch console with split Joy-Cons and a hip rooftop party. Okay, this one is a reach, but hear me out. After all, 3DS got Rekka, so anything is possible. Gimmick is one of the best games you haven't played yet. Super challenging, you have to use physics-based platforming systems and attacks to get through every adorable stage. This is another game that will benefit from Switch save states. And I know if it got released, a whole new wave of people will get to experience for the first time, just like Mother 3. Speaking of games people didn't get to play, this is some more action for your relaxing. Swap gravity and keep firing and you'll have a blast in this challenging shooter. It'll take you time to get adjusted to the controls and the systems and some of the, the graphics even. But as you do, initial levels become a breeze, which to me is the mark of a great old game. Of course, those 10 games aren't the only ones we want on the Switch. There's a vast sea of NES games out there that are perfect for dropping out of poo after eating a full plate of Uncle Ben's. And we want to know which yours are. Leave them in the comments and tweet us. We'd love to hear from you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to take a swing around Central Park for a bit. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, PS4 game is so grand. I love all of the game. Even the parts with Mary Jane, it's done to play more Spider-Man.